Hello, I'm Damien Garrett, and welcome to the Point Post Round 4 Review. Here are the major headlines from the weekend. Now the round kicked off on Thursday night with the Crows and the Demons. The Crows were unable to send their fans home happy after suffering a 15-point loss. Melbourne's Cade Chandler is in trouble with the AFL for attempting to smuggle the game ball out in his own mouth. Friday's doubleheader kicked off at Norwood Oval as the Lions took on the Kangaroos. North Melbourne lost by 70 points and then toured the Oval facilities for their upcoming merger with Norwood. Friday continued with the Power defeating the Bombers by 69 points. Controversy ensued post-game when Jeremy Finlayson self-reported himself for calling an Essendon player a poofter. The AFL fined him $50,000, but had since downgraded it to just $20. And Saturday Night Footy had the nation's pets watching. Dogs and the Cats put on a four-point nail-biter. Tom Liberatore had an excellent personal game finishing with 35 touches and a goal. Following the match, Tom reportedly went back to his hotel and watched the episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets a cannonball shot at his stomach. Saturday afternoon, footy ended controversially when the Blues defeated the Dockers. With less than a minute left, Cottrell kicked a goal to put Carlton in front. Jordan Clark then cursed himself and the umpire decided that self-descent is simply not on. A 50 metre penalty was paid as a result, solidifying the win for the Blues. Following the game, Jordan Clark called the umpire a snivelling piece of f***ing donkey doodle sh** who should f- sit on a knife and rotate Frio's opponents next week will start with a 50 metre penalty as a result. And finally, Sunday night footy had Jack Inman clash with his old side. Despite the Pies' best efforts, the umpires were unable to meet the minimum four free kick quota for Jack. Sources report Ginevan will be wearing a neck brace for next week's clash against the Suns. And that's your round four review. Subscribe to Point Post News for all the latest developments in footy. And as always, more to come.